So right after I lost protection I started chopping some willows to do some AFKing a little bit but I quickly figured out what I wanted to do and I was going to risk it. Yeah, I could get my total levels up inside the safe zone, I'm sure of that. But I decided, fuck it, there's not many people online so let's just do some Slayer. I think it was cave bugs that was my task. But I forgot a rope so of course I could not do it. Then I came back and got my rope. So I quickly leveled up, of course, with the five, no, actually the close to ten times, like more to like eight times experience. Uh, after I was done with that task, I figured let's do a little bit more of agility while I superheat my ores. But quickly got bored of agility as well, finished off my bars always bring pineapple pizzas or anything uh, any food when you're going from the bank to the GE or from the GE to the bank and um, some cool thing that I figured out here in Deadman mode is that logs sell for a very high price because people use it to fletch or fire make and um, yeah willow logs at one point sold for 450 each so willow Chopping willow trees was actually a very good money-making method. So here I chopped some ores and I figured, you know what, let's do some mother load mine. And then this happened. 41 mining and of course fresh out of the protection I still had a uh, decent amount of caution. Because, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> boom very very dangerous certainly because I did not have the um, well I was cautious but I did not have the proper um, yeah setup and proper mindset to escape uh, because I, it hadn't happened yet so um, actually yeah I'm not sure if I died before this or after this but no yeah of course I didn't die before this because it was um, I was protected but yeah I didn't have the right um, mindset yet meaning uh, my reflections and knowing exactly what to do when you get decked wasn't there yet as you, because as you can see I didn't turn on any protection prayers even though I have them of course after this um, yeah you'll see I'll get attacked by the same guy and of course then I have my protection prayers ready to go and from then on, of course, um, it's it's a, a healthy habit to turn on protection prayers whenever you get attacked, whenever I get attacked. But of course, when you are not attacked in a while, or you can't be attacked, um, that reflex isn't there. Um, so this was actually very dangerous. That guy, if that guy had bind or snare or entangle or pff, freezes, I mean, that would be insane I mean I would have been dead for sure um, but if that was the case then yeah I was dead for sure because I, I did not have any good uh, reflexes or any good habits yet to protect myself uh, to turn on any protection prayers I'm not even sure if I have them set up to protect from Lee or protect from magic or anything uh, I do think so but I'm not sure and we'll see you right here I figured you know what of course he's not gonna stay here he's gonna instantly leave because he's, he will be scared that I will tell anyone I know or something so I thought I was safe casually fixing the thing to get my pay dirt and boom he is back First he tries to attack some guy that I became friends with, friends with later. Um, but as you can see now I have the protection prayers ready and the right reflexes. So that I don't die. And I actually get a little bit cocky which as you can see um, was uh, I spoke a little bit too soon. Because this delay on the rocks I did not anticipate that at all. And as you can see it, I, it almost cost me my life even through protection prayer. And since I don't have a prayer potion, boom, 
my protection prayers are gone. Here I thought, you know what, let's make sure he cannot attack me. Because if he went out immediately with me, he might have got in another shot or two. So yeah, no more <laughs> mother load mine. So I figured, you know what, let's superheat all the remaining ores that I got. Because nature runes weren't really a problem. Uh, I mean, at the time I could buy them from the GE, uh, pretty slowly, but they would buy. Um, oh, of course, I put on my protect uh, protected skills. Um, but yeah, they nature was bought in the GE, and I could always um, buy them in stores, like the Magic Guild and uh, in the Wilderness. Of course, that's dangerous, but I mean, at this point in the game, it's very unlikely to run across anyone. I mean the guy at the mother load mine, he stayed, because later I went there again, like a day later or two days later and he was still picking there, or this day, I'm not sure, but yeah, it was like his his spot, you know, mother load mine was obviously his spot to PK and he obviously loved it, probably because it's actually pretty good because, um, yeah, the ores um, get banked and it's very unlikely people it's close to a safe zone, it's unlikely people mule in that time because you have to mule in the mother load mine itself and yeah you can't really mule, the only way to mule would be to collect the ores go outside to Feldor and go back to mother load mine which would take way too much time so it's actually so incredibly inefficient people will most likely not mule in the, in the mother load mine uh, or if they do, they like secretly go to some account behind some rocks or something. But um, yeah, if that might be the case. But even then, you still have to get that mule to um, outside of Mother Road Mine safely. So even that is dangerous. So yeah, as you can see, I went back here. Here I uh, simply showed the that uh, the thingy that it was guarded and that there was no more. Uh, protection, PvP protection. But yeah, the model of mine is a great, great place to PK in uh, Dead Man mode because very unlikely people mule and yeah, the ores get banked right there. Uh, it's all unsafe, not guarded. So pretty likely you get some coal, at least like a hundred. Or if they just came there like me, you get nothing. But so yeah, here I figured train some ranged wild whilst making some money at the same time. And then I skipped ahead for some unicorn horns. I th I'm not sure if I saw... Of course, this is incredibly dangerous. I was really testing my luck here. Um, because my friend even told me that I made... At Mother Lord Mine told me that there were people at Edgeville. So yeah, very dangerous team at, at Edgeville. But of course, even those teams are afraid to go to Barbarian Village because... They're afraid to run into an even bigger team, so only if you're with a huge team you feel safe going to Barbarian Village. And even then you don't feel completely safe because, you know, rot. So yeah, here I wanted to train some um, Herblore with uh, Taromin potions and ashes. But you need to complete Shades of Morton, with, which I first did not know to make that uh, serum potion. Here I tried buying some food and everything was too expensive or nothing bought at least. I got another slayer task and they were cave crawlers this time. And they deal a lot of poisonous damage so I figured oh let's get the hell out of here and do some winter tod. I'm not sure why exactly, probably because I teleported to winter dot with my games necklace that I had on me but because I don't think I want to do winter dot maybe for the rewards maybe for the herbs marital herbs for herblore um, so that I could make anti-poison potions but yeah winter dot is very um, actually pretty annoying at uh, when you do it completely alone even with two would be so much better um, because at the last parts you need to you can 
almost only uh, keep one brazier lit and you have to stay there and you can't really chop anything or fletch anything you just need to run around a bit and or just wait at the brazier and then you get no experience at all whilst if you were with two it would be very easy to both take one brazier and oh that was actually my first winter tot kill look at that I actually managed to do it and of course after this I w um, I do plenty more uh, in total I think I've done 10 now and of course every time uh, you do that you get like seven piles of rewards because for every 500 points of winter Todd, you get one extra slot of rewards so I think I averaged around 2500 points points each time so that's five uh, plus one extra slots so that's six but most of the time I got 3000 points or maybe 3500 here I figured I did some fishing because yeah this is pretty fast experience and I wanted to get my cooking up I think for eventually making pineapple pizzas I wanted to make them myself because the ingredients are pretty easy to buy and you can't really run out of them I mean the shops in Gnome in the Gnome stronghold basically provide everything you need and they heal 22 so it's great the only thing that I did not like about fishing here in Gnome stronghold is that it's pretty far from the bank if it was like half double as as, as close or, or the half the half the way I think it would have I would have enjoyed it much more I would have been able to do it for much longer but because it's always such a long walk it feels too inefficient I also tried searching for flex to pick flex but apparently which I vaguely remember they removed flex from the gnome struggle just like all the yew trees from any guarded areas so that people would pick flex and chop yew trees in dangerous non-guarded areas so this is uh, this has become something i've did a lot here in deadman mode in the seasonal i did not do it before i think so this is the first time you see me doing it but yeah these shops they provide food the tangle toad and the chocolate bombs give fif heal 15 health and the other ones heal 11 or 12 or something so I think the same as lobsters or as wines I think it's 12 but I'm not ex I'm not 100% sure but yeah 15 is um, better than swordfish almost as good at first I thought it was 16 but it's 15 apparently almost as good as as monkfish so it's very good and it also stacks so if you heal uh, it's like a ceridom in brew you know you, you, if you eat a tuna and then a wormhole uh, I mean a tangled toad or a chocolate bomb it's instant so it's very good food and it's pretty cheap I mean it's not cheap cheap but it's cheap compared to any food you buy at the GE because in the GE everything is overpriced a regular regular monkfish I think was 2k and then lobsters are 500 each which heal less than the chocolate bomb and sharks of course are 4k so that's even more expensive but alongside those pre-made bombs, I also bought supplies to eventually make pineapple pizzas, which is cheese, tomato, pot of flour, pineapple, of course. And yeah, the rewards at Winter Todd were pretty good, pretty good, and I never encountered anyone, so yeah, pretty safe and pretty good experience, of course. Fire making has always been my highest stat here in seasonal deadman mode up until this day because of course um, I'm narrating right now and what I see what I am narr narrating is pretty long while back so I need to catch up with my videos the reason I've been yeah been a bit late with my videos is because they are is because the editing part I don't like and that is because my editing software Sony Vegas crashes at least 10 times every time I try to edit a video and I want to start uh, narrating live instead of commentating so yeah um, it is at this point about 20% down to 0% actually uh, let's say 15% and down it's it, it's incredibly hard to keep all the braziers lit and it's at this time that 
Having two accounts even would be so much better. But yeah, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next video, which will have much more levels and much more getting into that top K and eventually getting to the top page and maybe even top 10. So stay tuned.